हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक अंडर कंट्रोल सिस्टम इंजीनियरिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस एंड फ्रॉम द फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज पोलर प्लॉट सो विल स्टार्ट विद दिस टॉपिक पोलर प्लॉट विल सी द स्टेप्स टू ड्रॉ द पोलर प्लॉट एंड देन आफ्टर uh step by step we'll draw with the simple uh, example so the second uh, step like we are taking the type 0 system uh, here i will i would like to explain the step first of all um, i have uh, mentioned in with the example itself so first of all we'll take the transfer function like gfs um, uh, in terms of s here and that uh, as we know that transfer function is nothing but the laplace transform of output divided by laplace transform of input of any system uh, under zero initial condition so uh, instead of going uh, too deep i will start with the one example of type zero system as we know that the type zero system uh, is a system where the uh, the power of s that is nothing but individual s here is equal to 0 that means it will be only uh, it, in terms of 1 plus 2s 1 plus a, uh, 3s yeah something s plus 2s plus 5 but there will there will no be a uh, not individual s terms will be here so that is comes under type 0 system so uh, let's let's take this example gfs is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus 2s into 1 plus 3f this is a uh, transfer function we have taken Type zero type zero transfer function. So solution uh, step one. What we'll do? We'll put s is equal to j omega because we uh, we need to find out the frequency response. So put s is equal to j omega in the given transfer function. Uh, so replace this s with uh, uh, j omega. So like s is equal to j omega, we'll put g of j omega and find one divided by one plus two j omega that or uh, into one plus three j omega. Now the second step is to determine the magnitude and phase of g of j omega. So what we'll do, uh, we'll find out the magnitude of this given transform function. Like more mo, uh, mo magnitude will be denoted by modulus g of j omega, uh, which will be equal to one divided by under root one plus. That means one uh, is this part, uh, this one is square plus this one is square, and that means two omega is square. One is square plus two omega is square under root. 1 plus 1 square plus 3 omega square. So if you are confused with that, I will just explain in the uh, coming uh, further coming part. And the phase of this g of j omega, which which will be denoted by argument g of j omega or angle of g of j omega, is nothing but from this part we'll find out because this whole part is under denominator so denominator always will start angle it's in, uh, uh, in negative like minus tan inverse this part 2 omega divided by 1 that means tan inverse 2 omega and this one minus tan inverse 3 omega so uh, as we know that uh, x plus jy if you are taking the modulus of x of jy it will be equal to under root x square plus y square and x of J y uh, angle of x plus J y will be equal to tan inverse y divided by x. <coughs> Next part, if you are taking the angle of one divided by x plus i y, because this is nothing but whole part is denominator, so it becomes minus negative because of denominator. Tan inverse y this part that means the part which will be with the imaginary terms will be nothing but y, and the real part is we are taking as a X. We, you can take uh, take any terms a plus i b or something like that. So it will become tan inverse y divided by x. If you are taking only uh, secondary part, I mean uh, imaginary part only, so one divided by j y, it becomes tan inverse y divided by zero. That means tan inverse infinity here. Uh, tan inverse infinity, which is equal to minus 90 degree. If you are taking only real part, one divided by x, so because it is de denominator again, it will become negative minus tan inverse zero divided by x, which is equal to zero degree. If you are taking only imaginary part, but it is on <coughs> numerator, so it will become tan inverse y by zero, and it is 90 degree. So from this equation, we we can see that from previous um, part here, if it consider this is another x plus j y, so the under root it becomes under root. 
x square this one square is one and y square two omega because j is not going to be squared here uh, so two omega square similarly one plus three omega square and here also that is we are taking because this is one divided by x plus j y one plus again x plus j y it becomes for this one minus tan inverse two omega divided by one minus tan inverse three omega divided by one so it will become equation to here. Okay, so uh, we'll see the next slide. Now, step three. What we'll do from equation two and three. Uh, here is the equation two and three. Uh, uh, we'll put omega tends to zero. That means we'll uh, take omega is equal to zero in equation two and three, and this will become a, st a starting point of our polar plot. So uh, see here, we put omega tends to zero in equation two. What we get? Limit omega tends to zero in mod of g of g omega, and from uh, in this equation we will put one divided by one plus zero, and here one plus zero. So it will be equal to one divided by one plus zero into under root one plus zero, and it is nothing but one divided by root two. Similarly, if we we'll put omega tends to zero in equation number three, uh, limit omega tends to zero, and angle of g of g omega will be equal to again we will see this equation minus tan inverse 2 into 0 that means 10 inverse 0 again minus 10 inverse 3 into 0 that means 10 inverse 0 so uh, here it becomes minus 10 inverse 0 minus 10 inverse 0 and overall is equal to 0 that means we we got uh, 1 by root 2 is magnitude and 0 degree is angle when we are substituting omega tends to 0 similarly step 4 we'll put omega is equal to infinity in equation number 2 and 3 So when we we'll put omega tends to infinity, limit omega tends to infinity, uh, mod of j of uh, j uh, j omega is equal to one divided by under root one plus infinity because this part becomes infinity under root again one plus infinity and whole it becomes one by infinity is equal to zero. That means magnitude is equal to zero. Again, if we we'll put omega tends to infinity in equation number three, we'll get Minus tan inverse infinity, minus tan inverse infinity, and because tan inverse infinity is equal to minus, I mean 90 degree, so minus 90 and minus 90 it becomes 180. So step five, what we'll do, we'll draw the polar plot. We'll uh, just for your um, our convenience purpose, we have taken a small table where starting point and end point we have mentioned it out. Where starting point phase angle is zero, and uh, end point. The phase angle is 180 degree. Again, ma at magnitude in a starting point is 1 by root 2, and the magnitude at end point is equal to zero. So here <coughs> we'll uh, draw the polar plot. We draw the like x-axis and y-axis as usual. We draw this x-axis is nothing but it is called real axis, and this y-axis which is called as the imaginary axis. Okay, so imaginary axis will be always in terms of j omega, 2 j omega. Uh, uh, this is negative part. This is the positive part. And the angle, as you know that if we're putting the angle, this will be 0 degree, 90 degree, minus uh, sorry, 180 degree and 270 degree. But actually, our angle is in negative, so we'll be taking uh, the reverse of the angle, like 0 degree. Uh, if you're going in the reverse direction. It will be minus 90 degree, minus 180 degree, and minus 270 degree. So take the starting point. The starting point is zero degree. So this is the axis of zero degree. If we are taking zero degree, the value is one by the magnitude is one by root two, and the angle is zero. So in this zero degree, we are taking the magnitude. I am taking here wrong. This is nothing but one by root two. That means 0.707. So, but it will start from 0.707. This is the starting point. And it will go at 180 degree, where the magnitude is equal to zero. So this is the angle of minus 180 degree. 180 degree means minus 180 degree actually here. So it will end at minus 180 degree, and the magnitude will be equal to zero. So uh, your confusion will be why not? Uh, I mean here. I mean by crossing this uh, 180 degrees. No, it will cross only when this. Uh, angle phase angle will be minus 270 degree because minus 270 degree means it will never cross this minus 270 degree. If it is minus 180 degree means it will never cross 180 degree. It, why it is ending here because the magnitude is zero. If the magnitude would be like one or two, it would be ended here. So thanks for your watching.